everybody and welcome back to Alan Walker Theories. Today we are going to be answering your frequently asked questions about the world of Walker. First, I think I'm going to be talking about the world of Walker and the timeline because so many of you had just said, I don't understand anything and I think this is probably the best place to begin. So I'm just going to bring out my phone. What did you guys ask? So why is the timeline so inconsistent? And this is probably your number one reason for not having it make sense. So originally the uh, first three music videos, those being Faded, Sing Me to Sleep and Alone, were filmed by a completely different crew of people than the current crew. And they were not made with the intention of being part of this larger cinematic universe. And as the other trilogies got added on, those being, you know, the World of Walker trilogy, which is All Falls Down, Diamond Heart, and Dark Side, those weren't in really intended to play in with the Different World trilogy, which was On My Way, Alone Part 2, and Heading Home. Again, as each new trilogy gets added, the universe expands and the plot expands with it. But with that, plot holes and inconsistencies are created. Short answer version of this, this was never intended to happen and most of the stories were not written with intention to be part of a larger universe. Now, getting back more into the Different World trilogy, with On My Way, Alone Part 2, and Heading Home. It's a very weird trilogy because we have all these inconsistencies in time. So I'm just going to brief it for you. So 28300, the main character, her name is also Lily. I'm just gonna call her that. She's a student, she's an archeologist, and in On My Way, she just finds remnants of an ancient walker civilization. And then in Alone Part 2, she goes to their like site of where they used to be, to view more relics. And then we are introduced to the Red Walkers who I will talk more about later. And then in Heading Home, we see uh, Lily in the library and then she has sort of this flash to a different time, a different life or whatnot. Now this is a very bizarre scene and I don't think there's a clear explanation for this. So I will break it down into four possible theories. Um, one, she has been reincarnated. So she was at one point an ancient walker or met the ancient walkers and then has been rebirthed into the same person, life after life. Um, this does bring about the question, why is she immortal? How is she immortal? How does immortality work in the universe? So none of these answers are really straightforward or clear. There's no solid, oh, this is the obvious choice answer. If you were to ask any three of us, we would all give you different answers on this topic. So just bear with me. I wanna make sure I present you with enough ideas to come to your own conclusion. I don't wanna just be forcing my, you know, our ideas onto you. The next idea would be time travel, which means that 2800 was born in the modern day, then went back to the ancient walkers and then traveled back to the present. And in the process of that, she had some memory wipes we do discuss this more in depth in our timeline video. I will warn you, it is slightly out of date. I will get to that later, but this does explain the time travel idea in more detail. Why, what, why would her memory be wiped? Um, maybe this is to, if you want to get into the free will um, discussion of time travel, which is a very heavy and painful discussion to have. If you want to go there, that could be a reason. But other than that, it just doesn't really make any more sense than any of the other ideas. Uh, closest thing we have to a reference to time travel is, I think it was in the Space Melody music video description, that he just said, oh, we will continue on our adventure in time and space, which has nothing to do with anything we've seen so far. So it seems to imply time travel and or teleportation. So I, I really don't know. Um, then we have the prophecy theory, meaning that she got a literal prophecy like she saw the future or she saw the past as a warning or sort of a foresight kind of thing maybe this is something from the ancient walkers but again it just doesn't make a lot of sense and then you could have the it was all a dream idea and oh i hate this trope i hate this trope with burning passion it was okay in the wizard of oz and it was never okay after that just to have her sit in the library and just fantasize about this for like three minutes what what is the purpose of including that in a cinematic universe if it's just her daydream it would need to manifest itself in order for it to warrant its own video so i'm not really in with the dream theory i don't think any of us three really are but i do think the other three theories have enough validity to put them in here can't guarantee any of them will actually happen but it's sort of just our best interpretation of what we have so far. 
just jumping back to the timeline discussion really quick, Alan did at one point release an official timeline, which was the timeline that we discussed in the timeline video. I think it's up here. Um, but the main issue with that is in the World of Walker 2021 video, a new timeline has been introduced and that's why our old one is outdated. Uh, another common question is, are all of Alan's songs related to one story? And this would be no. Only 10 of Alan's songs are actually part of the world of Walker, which is Alan's cinematic universe, so to speak, for his music videos. If the music video does not have a super evident plot, then it's probably not a music video. Like I've seen people try to interpret the specter and people dancing as part of the world of Walker. I guess uh, sort of a heads up, if there is dancing, it is probably not a World of Walker music video. Another common question is, is Space Melody part of the cinematic universe? And I have to say no. This was, I think, confirmed that it wasn't part of the cinematic universe, but I can see the confusion because it looks cinematic. It seems to have a plot. Um, so everything that happens in there, I think is sort of just for its own entertainment. Um, Alan sort of drives around in a cool car there's a bunch of coordinates that lead to different locations that I think are just sort of relevant to the plot of the music video. There's this girl named Taya, Taya, I don't know how to say it. And then she just like hangs out in a window and just like stares at Alan. Like, I, I don't know, I don't get it. It references a bunch of Vise songs as well. So again, I just don't think this is related to the World of Walker universe. So how do prophecy discs work? Uh, they have origins with the ancient walkers, or at least in ancient times. They don't have any special, like, magic to them. They're just discs that show future events. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you could go with this based on whatever theory you're leaning towards as far as the whole 28300 reincarnation time travel prophecy thing. So you could say the ancient walkers knew what was gonna happen because of 28300. Maybe they were communicating via their mind. Maybe future walkers knew about these events, time traveled into the past, became the ancient walkers and created the discs. I mean, these are all ideas that you could come up with, but the prophecy discs, what you need to know is they predict future events and summarize what will come in a trilogy. So this is why we can sometimes speculate what might come in a future music video if we have a prophecy disc to show for that video. So who are the Red Walkers? Now we see these in Alone Part 2, but only sort of as a like vision sequence. We see the cave with them there and we see it without them there, which sort of indicates that this is a mixing of realities. Interpret that as you will based on like the three-ish theories that we discussed earlier, but they also, um, appeared during the Alone Part 2 live video. And I don't really know why, because, you know, are they immortal like 28300? Did they time travel there? What is this? What is the significance of, of their presence? And the truth of it might just be they were included in the video to give it some timeline importance aside from just looking cool. I really don't know, but I'm not super sure that this is a huge anchor point of the World of Walker universe. Just think about them as ancient walkers that might also be modern walkers. These are like the old traditional kind of walkers, I guess. Take it that way. Another good question, who is Red Nexus? This is a hot and burning question. We do have a video going in depth on them up here, but the basic summary is that they are a fictional evil corporation that is trying to work against the walkers and stop them from doing whatever they're doing. So they were working with 28300 as part of her research, but they like stole it, I think. And now it looks like from the World of Walker 2021 trailer that they're like trying to like end the world. I really don't know what their intention is, but evil corporation that's working against the walkers, they are the bad guy. Um, they are not real. I've seen a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, Red Nexus is real. They have been characterized on social media to be a real organization for the sake of interaction. Who is the old guy that keeps showing up in videos? This would be <laughs> this guy. He's in like Alone Part 2, um, Dark Side. He's, he's everywhere. This man is everywhere. There is no clear reason why he's everywhere or what he does. A good speculation, I guess, that we have is that maybe he is a spy for Red Nexus. He's just so isolated and we see him help walkers, I guess. 
uh, you can make the assumption that maybe he's hiding from someone and that would be maybe Red Nexus because he was with 28300 or Lily at the time that she was working with Red Nexus and giving that, you know, press speech. So he could definitely be a Red Nexus spy that got discovered. Again, I don't know the validity of this, but this is just a currently possible situation that could happen based on what we know. What is Avum? Now, this is Alan's personal drone. So if you've seen him with a drone on Instagram, that's probably what it's meant to be. Um, this is also the name of a song that he released for the aviation tour. Um, now, during the tour, there was also sort of a subplot about Avum and how he saved the walkers from Atlantis, but this totally goes against everything we know. There is no Atlantis in the plot that currently exists. So I think that was just more of like a, oh, we're gonna spice up the aviation tour. We're gonna personify this drone and have him talk to the audience on the screen and say how we saved the walkers from Atlantis. I haven't really read into the story all that much because we have seen no evidence of this plot existing outside the show. More or less, it is Alan's personal drone. All you need to know. So what is the house in the faded music video? So. This is only a recent thing that we learned in the World of Walker 2021 trailer. It is meant to represent Alan's house from his childhood. Now this isn't where he actually lived, but within the plot, this is where the World of Walker city is going to be built. So again, this is adding meaning into Faded, which was originally filmed without any particular meaning in mind. Um, but I think that's cool that they're giving it a meaning and a symbolism within the world of Walker. And then on the topic of Alan, what is his role in the world of Walker? We really don't know, but we know that he's aware of the ancient civilization and the whole thing against Red Nexus. I think because he's the founder of the modern Walker network, I assume he's pretty active. He's probably one of the people who leads this fight against Red Nexus to save the world. He is the main character, the main hero, and I think he's going to become more prevalent that way. And I'm excited for that. So what are the purpose of the monuments? Now, I don't know which one this comment specifically referred to, but the monument in On My Way is just pretty much a symbolic stone structure of the ancient walkers. A lot of ancient civilizations had a lot of structures for either religious reasons or just because they looked cool. I guess I'm not a historian. If someone is, correct me, please. But that sort of just meant to represent that she found the ancient walkers that kind of thing. Uh, if you're gonna reference the ones from Dark Side that you see in the world of Walker City, like, I think they might be like meeting points for walkers, so it's easy to identify. The structures were sort of copied and duplicated into the Walker City we see in Diamond Heart. Again, I don't know whether that's an actual Walker City we saw. On to the miscellaneous questions. Let's see what we have. Is Alan going to release a new album? Um, I think so. He posted a bunch of things that alluded to him releasing an album. He had this screenshot in his like Twitter video, I believe. He's like, oh, are you gonna release an album soon? But I think it's very interesting that it got deleted and then replaced with the same video as another social media. So that was fishy. And then on this Chinese site, like Billy Billy, unrelated to Billie Eilish, there he made this post and he referenced that he was gonna make an album in 2021. Um, and then again, that was modified later. So I don't know if this is meant to be a sneaky thing where they're like, oh, you caught it, good job. We're gonna change it now. Other common questions that we get asked, can you message Alan for me? No, no, I cannot. No, I am not going to tell Alan that you want to marry him. You can tell him that yourself. Baby, uh, this is not a Justin Bieber fan page. Um, it never will be. Please stop sending me things like this into my question boxes. I do not appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I think that's about it. If I didn't answer your question in this video, I will do my best to reply to it either on YouTube or you can re-ask it in the comments and I'll try my best to reply there. Feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to do monthly-ish uploads, but you know, there's only so many things I can make a video about and I only have so much time, but I do hope you enjoyed nonetheless. I'll see you guys next time.